Hi and welcome to this quick tutorial on retopologizing inside Max. So uh, I had a little bit of trouble uh, figuring all this stuff out, so I figured I might as well do a little video tutorial for people who, you know, maybe wanted to learn this as well. Uh, it's actually really simple and really awesome. Uh, it can be a bit buggy still, but I think by Max 2012 that should be fine. So anyway, uh, since 2010 they added this uh, whole set of graphite tools with a bunch of retopology tools as well. And I think <coughs> since 2011 they made it pretty much usable. Uh, it, it had loads of bugs in, in 2010. So I'm going to do this. I, I, I quickly sculpted this uh, cushion thing in ZBrush and I'm just going to really quickly retopologize it inside Max. Uh, I used decimation decimation master to get it to a poly count uh, low enough to bring it into max, and from then on, all you have to do really is so. I'm just going to start <coughs> by uh, going here in the graphite modeling tools freeform, and then under poly draw, uh, you might notice that uh, my my stuff looks a little bit different. You can actually change all that in these settings if you right click ribbon configuration all that kind of stuff so yeah you can do that right there but it's pretty much the same under poly draw in freeform you can just kind of uh, here you can select what kind of uh, like surface you wanna use so I wanna use a, a mesh obviously so draw on surface so I'm just gonna do that and then pick this mesh cushion alright and uh, from then on, we need an object to draw on. So I'm just going to click this little button here and do a new object. And now we have an empty editable uh, poly. So I'm going to go into this tool, which is the step build, and just kind of, uh, whoops, I'm just going to pick a point um, anywhere, really. Just draw four vertices. I don't know if you can see that, but there's four verts right here. And that's pretty much it. So now I have four verts and I'm just gonna shift click a couple of times. I'm not sure where exactly I'm supposed to click but after a while you'll see a polygon pop up and that's gonna be our base uh, to work from. Here you have an offset you can choose how far the verts that you place or the edges or whatever offset onto the mesh that you selected. <coughs> so right now that's 0 0.5 which means they're gonna be just a little bit off the uh, you can see here they're just a little bit off the uh, the surface uh, of the high poly. Um, so that's I think that's good. Maybe one. Uh, let's try one. All right, and <coughs> we can work from this polygon. Uh, I'm just going to use extend uh, tool here. You can see, if you hover over it, you can see like a ton of uh, different things popping up with information and all that. Just read that, that's really awesome. Uh, but I'm going to try and explain the most useful ones to me at least. Uh, one other thing that I might want to do, uh, a good tip here, is just making a like a bright material, like really yellow or something, and make, a, uh, make it wire, and then just apply that. Okay. And now I'm going to go into this tool and pretty much stay in it the whole time, uh, apart from a few things. Now there's a couple of combos that you need to know here. Uh, Control alt shift and clicking and dragging means you can uh, change the position of verts on the surface. So you can see that um, you can see that it tries to stay on the surface of the high poly here. And I can do whatever I want. <coughs> That's really awesome. And shift clicking a edge out will make a new edge. It's like an extrude along the surface again, obviously. So like that you can just add a bunch of mesh here. Just kind of control shift uh alt click to tweak the verts. That's good. Gonna move these a bit down. Come on, there we go. And just gonna extrude a few here to work from. It's 
something like that. Okay, we can do this all around, but I'm just going to show you the tools. So let's say I want to do like, uh, hold on. All right. Now, the main use uh, of this tool is by clicking and dragging with no button selected. Just click and drag and it will make a polygon or try to find two verts to make a polygon from. You can see, pick these two. So you need to kind of assist it and kind of tell it which vert to start from. So this will be the opposite corner. I'm just pulling from there outwards and that's going to make a polygon like that, as you can see. Now I'm just going to really quickly extrude something here and lay in this one. And uh, there's another tool here. It's kind of cool. Whoops. So let's say we have a good situation like this and I want to fill this one in. That's kind of annoying because if I do this, then I have to weld these verts, which will happen sometimes. Uh, what you can do also is hold control and alt and then <coughs> well, you kind of tell this edge to go to this edge. That's kind of awesome. Just kind of boom. Control alt. You like you're like, you know, you edge, you have to go here. So control alt and then point in the right direction and it will automatically uh fill that gap, which is which is totally awesome. You can do the same here. I'm just telling the edge to you know, make a polygon out of these out of this gap really. It's it's uh yeah, it's nothing more than that. So that's basically the tools that I use. Um and that's really all you need. Uh yeah. Occasionally you're gonna have situations where you have to weld and um that's that shouldn't be much of a problem. Let's see if I can create one of these situations. So let's say I want to, I, I could just control alt this uh like that, but let's say I want to do it like this. And I have two verts here that aren't are supposed to be welded. What I can do is just select them because the cool thing is that I'm just an editable poly, so I can do whatever I want. I can extrude and weld and blah blah blah. All of that stuff. So what I do is I just select these, control W, which is my shortcut for that. And yeah, and that's it. It's welded. Or not. Hold on. Oh yeah, I have to like pull the minimum up to something crazy and then weld it. There we go. Now I can just do this, you know, with whatever I want in between uh, my retopologizing. Another cool thing about this, since we are in editable poly, um, so let's say I have, uh, like that, and then yeah, this is a situation where I have to weld them, but I have a little bit too few topology here, and I want to add a little bit. No problem. I can just press uh, whatever shortcut you have selected for the Swift Loop tool, which is right here. It's totally awesome. This tool, you should totally map it to some key. For me, it's T. I just uh, shift click it, and it's automatically going to kind of a uh, well. It's going to add a, a loop that you can actually preview. Like this, you know, you can like see what you want, and then when you shift click, it's gonna do a flow connect, which is something new in the graphite tools as well, which will kind of uh, adjust to the flow of the of the uh, the mesh. So a flow connect is gonna make it like smooth, you know, <coughs> which is also extremely, extremely, extremely useful. Uh, this may be a place where that could be used. Like you can see this is way too stretched and stuff, so what I do is just press T and there we go, and I can continue retopologizing very quickly. And yeah, I've been using this for the past two days, like nonstop, and it's really cool. Uh there's a few um situations where you might have a uh, a crash uh if you do something weird. Uh I can't really explain it precisely why or when, but um when you do this I do uh, very much suggest that you do take some backups now and then, or save in iterations, uh, definitely, uh, 
because it isn't perfect yet and there are some bugs but it's definitely very very useful so yeah I'm not gonna do this entire thing on screen but that should get you uh, fairly far uh, it's very straightforward there's a bunch of different tools as well here but none of them are really that useful compared to the, the extend and step build um, let's see yeah that should be it <coughs> you can actually oh yeah that's a cool one too you can actually if you have a tablet uh, you can actually draw lines on the mesh as you can see I'm just drawing uh, I'm not using my tablet right now which is why they look kind of weird but you can draw lines on the mesh and intersecting lines will turn into polygons which is really awesome uh, if you have a, a good hand and you have a tablet this, this could really save some time uh, that's this tool uh, like the little ball with the pencil and the polygons uh, topology again uh, just read up on these it's really 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 easy to use uh, if you just hover over it and read then you, you can really just uh, be quick with that or you can F1 and just read uh, up on it like that poly draw panel there we go we have everything here awesome but yeah I basically told you the stuff that you need to know to, to get pretty far. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Goodbye.